Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang dokumentaryong ito ay tungkol sa mga naging kaibigan ni Rizal habang siya ay naglalakbay sa mundo. So, umpisahan na natin to. Magandang araw po sa lahat. Ako po si Jeremy Ninyo Franco. Mag-uulat sa mga naging kaibigan ni Jose Rizal kung saan bansa siya pumupunta. Tatalakayin ko po ang mga naging kaibigan niya sa Spain, Germany, and France. In Spain, he met the paternal brothers who is Antonio, Pedro, and Maximo. They are friends of Rizal who shared his ideas. They often held meetings and celebrations in their homes. Then, Don Pablo Ortiga Y. Ray, a rich mestizo who was a former mayor of Manila, befriended Rizal due to him being in love with her daughter. He also met Marcelo H. Del Pilar, an illustrado and a leading figure of propaganda movement, founder of famous La Solidaridad and a respected member of Freemasons. And the last one is Mariano Ponce, another famous figure in the propaganda movement, also the co-founder of La Solidaridad together with Marcelo Del Pilar. Rizal attended some lectures in the University of Leipzig and befriended Professor Friedrich Rizal, a famous German historian, and Dr. Hans Meyer, a German anthropologist. And also, he met Dr. Theodore Hagor, an author of Travels in the Philippines, a book that Rizal admired because of, it, of its keen observan observances in the Philippine settings. Introduce result of Dr. Rodolf Virchow, a famous German anthropologist, and also to the later son's son, Dr. Hans Virchow, professor of descriptive anatomy. At Dresden, Rizal met Dr. Adolf Meyer, the director of zoological, anthropological, and ethnographic museum in Dresden. He stayed in two days in the city. Rizal went to Paris to train under the famous oculoplastic surgeon, Dr. Louis de Wecker, where he served as assistant at de Wecker's clinic for four months, from November 1885 until February 1886. He then proceeded to Heidelberg, where he trained under Dr. Otto Beaker. To publish Rizal's novel No Limitangere, he worked as an assistant in the clinic of Dr. Trigger and attended lectures at night in the University of Berlin. His professor was Madame Lucie Serdol, private professor of French. In France, he met Dr. Nescaise, a famous Parisian doctor. Rizal studied his work and also worked for him. Then, he met Maximo Viola, a very good friend of Rizal, the savior of No Limit Tangere, because he helped Rizal when he became a near destitute. During the time when Rizal traveled a lot, he befriended a lot of people. When Rizal traveled and explored Bohemia, he met a lot of people who became his friends. He became friends with the Professor Blumentritt, a kind-hearted Austrian professor and developed a lifelong friendship with Rizal. Rizal also befriended a kind town mayor for master who welcomed him in their town with open arms. Rizal also met some friends whom he met he when he traveled late merits. Dr. Carlos Zibalak, a renowned scientist in Europe, and Professor Robert Klatschak, an eminent naturist. He also became friends with a natural history professor in, in the University of Prague, Dr. Wilcox. While Rizal was still here in the Philippines, he also had a lot of friends including Governor General Emilio Terrero, a liberal governador general who defended Rizal from the friars because of the controversy caused by his novel, No Limit Tanger, and the one who advised him to leave the Philippines. 
Don Jose Luis Tavel de Andade was also a very good friend of Rizal. Don Jose became the lawyer and at the same time as the bodyguard of Jose Rizal. So when Rizal tra traveled to Hong Kong, he became friends with the Filipino residents in Hong Kong, Jose Maria Basa and Balbino Mauricio who helped toward Rizal around Macau. Rizal also befriended another Filipino resident in Hong Kong who is the son of a mayor travels, in Laguna, Manuel So he Carillante. goes to Macau and met Dr. Juan Francisco Licaros, a Filipino gentleman who accommodated Rizal and Basa at his home. In London, he met Dr. Antonio Rigidor, a practicing lawyer who, where Rizal stayed at his home as a guest. Also in London, he met Dr. Reinhold Rose, a librarian of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, recommended Rizal to the authorities of the British Museum and famously called him a pearl of a man. In Japan, he met Tetsu Suhero, a fighting Japanese journalist who was forced into exile by the government, met Rizal on the Belgic and became friends. Also in Japan, he met Juan Perez Caballero, the secretary of the Spanish legation in Hong Kong and invited Rizal to reside in the Spanish legation. Other close friends of Rizal is Juan Luna, a painter, a sculptor, and a political activist. Also Antonio Luna, the brother of Juan Luna and the general who fought in the Philippines-American War. Next is Graciano Lopez Haina. Together with Rizal and Del Pilar founded the La Solidaridad. Next is Jose Alejandrino, a roommate of Rizal in Belgium. Alejandrino was the person who canvassed the printing press for El Filibosteresmo. Next is Edelberto Evangelista. He counseled Rizal to take engineering in Belgium. And last is Trinidad Pardo de Tavera. is a historian and a Filipino physician who became friends with Rizal.